Hello and welcome to Short Sweet Stretch. This is perfect for days that you just want to move a little bit, but you don't have a ton of time. All you need is an exercise mat and less than 20 minutes. Let's get started. Open your feet, nice wide stance, knees softly bent, big breath in, arms reach overhead, exhale, hands to thighs, melt down, then slowly round back up. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale out. Take it down. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale. Exhale. Down toward the floor. Head can hang heavy. Then rise back up. Once more through. Once you're standing tall, little lunges with shoulder rolls side to side. Gentle movement as we warm up our body. Come back to center, bring your feet hip distance apart. Balance challenges next. Make sure you're standing nice and tall. Lift your right knee up towards your chest. You're gonna hold on from the shin. Release, switch sides. Left knee up, find a focal point, help you to balance a little bit. Release and switch. We're holding for a second at the top to lengthen through the spine, test the balance. Release, set down. Same thing with your left. Keeping the long spine all the way through. Breathing as well. Let's do one more each side, but we're going to hold this a little longer. So lift your right knee up towards your chest, pull it as tightly as you can. Gaze can stay at your focal point, or for a little more challenge, turn your head to the right side. Bring it back. Set your foot down. Same thing on the left. Bring your left knee up and in as tight as you can. Decide if you want to stay facing forward or bring your gaze to your left. And back. Set your foot down. Big breath in. On this exhale, fold forward and hold. Knees are softly bent. Head can hang heavy. Feel that nice release in the muscles in the back side of your body. From here, drop your hips, bending your knees, low squat position, and we'll hold here for a few seconds to feel the stretch in the backs of our heels. Now take a big step back with your right leg, coming into a low lunge position. Your other foot may need to scoot forward a little bit so that the ankle ends up underneath the knee. Once you're in position, focus on stretching the crown of your head forward and your heel backward. Shoulders away from your ears. Drop your back knee to the floor, uncurl the foot, press your torso up. So now shoulders are stacked over hips. You can hold this low lunge steady, or I'll show you some movement you can try instead. Take your right arm, big stretch over to left side. Come back up, set the hand back to your thigh. Other hand comes to the hip to rotate. Reset. Right hand stretches up and over. Back to starting. Gentle twist. Face straight ahead. Again, lift, reach through your fingertips. And then twist. We'll do that once more through. Facing forward, pull your hips back. 
gentle hamstring stretch, hinging a little more from your hips, then come back to low lunge, press your hips forward, feel the hip flexor stretch. Pull your hips back, hinge forward. Rise up, press forward. Two more times. Notice that the spine stays long throughout the flow. From low lunge, bring your hands to either side of your front foot, tuck your toes to the mat, lift your knee, step back to plank. From plank, lift your hips into down dog, that upside down V, then reset and plank, bracing through your core. Inhale to lift your hips, exhale to set back and plank. Strong through your core, throughout the movement. Once more lift. Once more set and plank. Then bring your right foot forward into a low lunge position. Lengthen through your spine. Make sure your head's not dropping down. Drop your back knee, uncurl your foot, lift the torso. Once again, you have the option to hold steady or flow, lifting your left arm up and over for a side stretch. And then shifting your right hand back to your hip for a twist. Side stretch. Rotate. Regular breaths throughout. This will be our last flow through. From here, pull your hips back. Hamstring stretch. Rise up, press your hips forward. Pull your hips back. You decide how far to hinge. I have far to press your hips forward. Whatever feels good to you in this moment. Next time you're in the lunge position, bring your hands to either side of your front foot, tuck your toes to the mat, lift your back knee, step back to plank position. Inhale, hips up and down dog. Exhale to plank. Inhale, lift. Use your strong core. Reset and plank. Two more times. Slow, controlled movement.
Once more with the left. All right, facing forward, have a seat. We'll start with our legs long and in a wide angle. Then bring your left foot in. Tall spine, bring your left arm up and over for a side stretch. Back to center, left hand to the floor, lift your hips, big reach over to the left side. Hips down. Side stretch to your right. Then a lift and side stretch to your left. Lots of flowing movements in this routine. But we're getting the dynamic stretch as we move. That will be our last one. Turn your body to the left. We're setting into pigeon pose. And we'll flow here as well. Your back leg directly behind your hip, hands on the floor. Start by sitting nice and tall. Then bend your elbows, hinge from the hips, coming into sleeping pigeon. Press back up. Flow back down.
bring the knee back to center. And we'll switch sides. Lengthening your right knee as you hug in your left. Hold here for a moment. Gentle stretch through the glute. Then straighten your leg up toward the ceiling. Rebend your knee. Bring it across to the opposite side, left arm to a T. Gentle twist here through the spine. Bring your knee back to center. Foot on the floor. Open your knee to the side. Set your arms where you like. Bring your knee back to center. Lift both feet up toward the ceiling. Let knees are bent. Reach for your ankles or your feet. Then pull your knees down toward the floor. Keep your knees apart, your feet apart as we relax into happy baby. Babies don't stay still, do they? They kind of move all the time. So if you feel like rocking a little bit, anything that feels good here is fair game. feet to the floor, then lengthen through your legs, arms reach overhead, long body stretch. Fingers are reaching toward one wall, toes are stretching toward the opposite. Bring your arms by your side. And you are welcome to hang out in a rest pose any, any length of time that you like. You can flip into child's pose, anything that works for you today, or if your time is up, I'm grateful that you chose to move and stretch a little bit today. All movement is beneficial for the body, so thank you so much for taking that time today.